Hello everybody and what is up? Wanted to do a review and comparison of the new Caracal C or Caracal model pistols to the Glock pistols. Uh, the, I say new but they've been out since 2005. Caracal made in the United Arab Emirates. A striker fired pistol designed by Willem Bubitz. I think that's how you pronounce his name. Uh, third in his lineup after the Glock and the Steyr pistols an evolution of that same type of form factor so it has a lot of the same cues and it looks quite similar to the other pistols. From what I understand Mr. Bubitz uh, explains that this is his masterpiece or the best striker fired gun that he's ever produced. So the Glock 23 and 19 happen to be my favorite gun so I wanted to put this one through the paces and see how it stacked up in my mind and see if it was a worthy successor. So I won't go over a lot of the nuts and bolts but I'll go over what is better in my opinion, what is worse in this Caracal versus the Glock 19 and how it stands up and if it is indeed a worthy successor then you can make up your own minds about whether or not you'd like to purchase one of these handguns. I took them both out shooting. I wanted to put quite a few rounds through it before I decided to talk about it uh, up next to my Glock 19. And I've got to say, I just love them both. Uh, I've heard a lot about the shootability of this Caracal and how nice it was, how well it pointed, and I'd have to agree. Very good shooter. Uh, the main thing that jumped at me was the trigger. The trigger is better, is much better than the stock Glock trigger. It has a quicker reset. It's similar to the PPQ in that regard. And it is a easier trigger to manipulate and shoot quickly. The other thing that I noticed immediately was the lower bore axis and you can see there down the bore slightly lower than the Glock and that's a big deal for me it's one of the reasons I don't like the XD line of pistols as much as some of the others is they seem to sit higher maybe even some of the SIGs this one rides down low your hand the the swell of your hand sits right in here against the center of the gravity of this pistol making it extremely easy to shoot uh, to be honest I thought there would be more of a difference because I'd heard so much about how easy this was to shoot but I'm a Glock guy and I've shot a Glock a lot and I've shot, put a lot of rounds through my Glock 19 and my Glock 23 so it's kind of old familiar for me to change would take a big would have to be a big improvement or a big change in the gun but shooting you know I, I enjoyed the heck out of both of them I was able to hit targets I couldn't really perceive any accuracy differences between them I didn't shoot them on paper to try to uh, mathematically or scientifically figure out which one was more accurate but just shooting pop cans and steel targets and such they both were great <clears throat> so I'll go over a few of the differences between the the Caracal if it's worth it for you to buy one of these or to stick with the old reliable Glock 19 and lay those out and then you can make up your mind I've got my Glock 19 right here one of them I've had quite a few this is one of my favorites this is the uh, OD Green Gen 3 Glock 19 uh, so just for a size comparison you can stack them up they're very very close for all intents and purposes they would be the same or fill the same niche when you carry uh, the Glock is slightly longer in the barrel and the slide but really they are about the same size so when you're considering one or this size pistol uh, you should consider both of these <clears throat> okay, I'm going to first go over some of the differences between these two guns and what makes them different. Then we'll go over what is better, in my opinion, in this gun, what is worse in this gun versus the Glock 19, and uh, then wrap it up. Differences or improvements, in my opinion. Number one, <clears throat> there is a cocked indicator or a striker indicator you see that hole there when the pistol is cocked you see the back of the firing pin it provides a visual indicator also a textile indicator if you could slide your finger over that in the dark you could also be able to fill that as you depress the trigger that slowly comes out and the striker pin falls that's one thing the Glock doesn't have that may be a benefit to you as I discussed before trigger it's very good very good trigger. The reset on that is really good and it's got a clean crisp 
break, pop, no mush, very, very good. The bore axis sits low. You put your hand right up against there and this thing rides right down low, right along it. Very easy to shoot. You know, the 9mm is, is simple to shoot anyway, but this just keeps that bore and that front sight right on target. Very easy to shoot quickly. Grip ergonomics. You can see, you know, a lot of people call the Glock the block, and I happen to like those triggers, but the grip, grip angle and grip contours on the Caracal are improved. Your hand sits up deeper into the pistol. The grip swells out slightly more. They say the grip angle is 111 degrees. I'm not quite sure what the Glock is, but it seems about the same, but this just seems to fit a little better. Your, the hand sits right up in there a little better, and it just feels a little more comfortable. Now, these little things, uh, there's, I think you, in the future, you will be able to get colored pieces or colored snap-on plastic pieces for this little piece. In the United States, I haven't been able to find those yet. I put some grip tape, some, uh, some sandpaper type tape here for my own grip and some on the back, that stuff that I added. But uh, in the future, supposedly, you will be able to customize those grips. Slide release. Now the stock Glock has long been dinged on that little slide release. You know, I really don't have a problem with it. I actually like the upgraded slide release a little better, but not enough to do it on my own pistols. I've just gotten the habit of hitting that thing and releasing the slide as needed. But I've got to say again that I think that the grip or the slide release on this Caracal is better. It sticks out a little bit. I've heard some shooters say that their thumb tends to ride on that a little bit or bump that as they're shooting and it might not lock that slide back on the last shot, but I haven't found that to be the case. I think that's just a perfect location, good ergonomics for that slide release, and so I think that is an improvement over the Glock. Another thing that they've been touting on this pistol is that it only has 28 parts. It's a much simpler handgun and design than the Glock. And that's supposedly one of the selling points. Well, my question is, at what point have you ever looked at your Glock and said, man, that thing is too complicated and it has way too many parts? Your Glock has got 36 parts. Caracal has got 28 parts. So it's nice that you've got a simpler design. I guess less parts to fail, less parts to replace. Uh, but that's not a huge benefit, in my opinion. Um, just simply because the Glock has such a tried and true record of being durable, reliable, and really, you know, how often do you come up with a failure on a Glock? I'm sure there are some, but it's very rare. Uh, so we'll have to see how that goes with the Caracal, if the fewer parts is a benefit or if it turns out to be a drawback. Now, those are the things that I like better of this gun. Let's go over the things that I think are not quite as well done on the Caracal as on the Glock. The finish. You know, this is a fighting pistol. It's not for, for beauty, but, you know, it does bother you when you get your gun scratched up. I've had this out a couple times since I bought it the other day. And speaking to the owner down there at Compact Firearms, he kind of let me know that all of these Caracals you know, none of them are perfect. They come with or scratches and marks on the slide and they just look like they've been scratched up a bit. And I've noticed that, I don't know if you can see that in this light, but there are some scratches. When I got it brand new out of the box, there was even some slight marking around the muzzle. You can't see it, but uh, there a little bit, you can see. It is enough to bother you or, you know, just say my brand new gun shouldn't be getting scratched this easily. They call the finish on this gun Plazox, and it's supposed to be state-of-the-art, great, and I think they do it on some of the internal parts as well. But the bottom line is, it's nowhere near as good as the slide finish or the tenefer finish of a Glock, where you can hammer nails with this thing almost and, and not scratch it, and it still looks good as new, right? And on this one, you're gonna, it's almost like you know, it's black, but it's almost like a blued gun in, in how it wears and how, you know, the, uh, the marks and things that you'll see on it. Or maybe even le uh, 
less tough, if that's the right phrase, uh, than a blued gun. I haven't been impressed with that and then on the other pictures I've seen on the internet. The weight versus your Glock. They both carry 15 pistols, or 15 shots rather, and the weight of the Caracal is 3.67 ounces heavier. Now, over three and a half ounces and you still have 15 shots and it's the same form factor, that doesn't make sense to me. I like my guns to be lightweight. I like them to be able to uh, hold a lot of rounds with not a lot of overhead and the Glock does that perfectly. This one has, you're gonna, you know, you're close to four ounces of extra weight. Does that really make a difference? Yeah. You know when you're carrying it on your hip every day it does. Uh, you can get used to it but uh, that is a difference. The sights on this gun. Now this, this one might be kind of an oddball. I haven't seen a lot of these but when I was buying this it, uh, my options were to buy the quick sight, which you've probably seen has the sight machined into the front part of the slide here. And it's kind of a uh, pistol built for point and shoot type of deal, not uh, precision type of shooting. And that was all they had, but I wanted the standard sight layout. And said, I said, well, you know, if that's all you had, I guess I'll take it. Turns out they pulled a box off the shelf and it said it was labeled quick sight but it had the standard sights. Now the sights on most of these Caracals are a standard like a Heine straight eight configuration but I think I have an oddball or an odd duck here where this rear sight doesn't have the white dot. I've only got the white dot on the front and that's okay but you can kind of see how those line up. The, the lighting is not too great. There's no white on the rear sight. I don't like that at all. You know, I'd like to be able to line up. I've got, I'm used to the three dot configuration, and that uh, doesn't quite look as good. Doesn't seem as easy to find in the dark. Uh, so that's one of my knocks against this gun. The other thing is, you know, that front sight has the dovetail. You could, I've seen Trigicon, and I don't know if people have customized that, but it'll be a little tricky to find night sights for this. Uh, the front sight, maybe. The rear sight. Uh, good luck. I've seen them, but I don't know if they are custom made or what. Let me show you how this rear sight uh, puts together. It's machined into the rear base plate or the rear plate of that slide. And then it kind of comes forward. So if I'll take this apart really quick. Show you that, uh, if I can get a focus, that sight plate comes under and is the same piece of steel that comes up in here along the firing pin channel. So switching out that sight is going to be a little trickier than on your Glock or on some of those other pistols where it's just something that you slide out and for 80 bucks you can get a, a new sight. That's not going to be the case with this one. You've also got you know the holes and so forth for the, uh, the striker, you know, the firing pin rather to worry about and so you know, the sights on this thing, yeah, thumbs down. Not a big fan. Let's put this thing together. You know, and that brings me to the support. What kind of support are you going to get on the Caracal? You know, with the Gen 4 Glocks, I had several, and they had the problems with the springs early on with some of the weaker ammunition. I sent those things off and to get the upgraded parts, and they were turned around and back to me within a week. You know what kind of support you're going to get with Glock. Great support. With Caracal? Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. You know, this one is one of the more rare and earlier. You can see on the bottom of the trigger guard it says Waffenworks. Imported by Waffenworks. They're now imported by SAI uh, or Steyr, as I understand. And so the support would go through them. I haven't talked to anybody or heard of anybody who's actually needed support on the Caracal, so I'm not sure. But that's just one of those question marks. The price on this, you know, online you can find them for 400 bucks. Um, if you wanted the Waffenworks model, you can go to my guys there at Compact Firearms, and I think they have them for, depending on the model, around 479, 49, 500 bucks. Um, if you wanted the exclusivity or collectability factor. Uh, but the price on these seems to be about a hundred bucks cheaper than on your Glock, um, most places. 
Accessories. You're not going to be able to find much for this. They are starting to show. There are a few manufacturers making holsters and some other things. But you'll have to look around. It's not like a Glock where you can go down to your generic sporting goods store and find magazines, holsters, everything just on the shelf. I did find that with most of my leather Glock holsters, the Caracal will fit. You just have to give it a little shove. It's a little tighter, but it'll, it'll fit in there, okay? The Kydex, not so much. Now, comparing the, uh, the history of the two, obviously Glock has got a long and storied history of success with law enforcement and everything else, and we, can, we know we can trust them. The Caracal, we don't have that history yet. A lot of the police and I think some of the armed forces in the United Arab Emirates are using them, so we'll see how that goes. They've also been tested in Germany in a stress test uh, called the NATO D-14 standard where they came out with flying colors. So all, all indications seem to show that they're going to be very reliable and a very good pistol. But we don't have the history. You know, we don't have the history of the Glock. Uh, one other thing that I'll point out is the difference in the barrels. This is one thing that might be a benefit to you. We know that the Glock has the, the hex barrel, uh, which makes it so that, you know, depending on who you ask, you may not want to shoot lead bullets uh, or without swapping out the barrel. The Caracal, same breakdown as your Glock, so there goes my spring. And I don't know if we'll be able to get the light in there, but it's got the standard rifled barrel. It's also got the fully supported chamber, which a lot of people like and want. Uh, but that should make it okay for shooting uh, lead bullets or your reloads or whatever else you're, you're looking to do. And that's it, you know, as far as my comparison between the two. Uh, you know, it comes down to me, is this better than the Glock? Or would, what does this do better than the Glock? Why would I want to shoot this more than the Glock? And, you know, bottom line is, I still like the Glock. This one shoots great. It's, I don't have really any huge complaints. The sights, I guess, is a big complaint. The weight, I don't like. The finish, eh. You know, I can, it's a fighting gun, so I'm not too concerned. But it doesn't do enough, or it doesn't have enough benefits that make me want to put my Glock 19 or my Glock 23 away and pick up the Caracal. So before you make a decision, hopefully you get a chance to shoot one and see how you think it holds up for you and think of, um, and compare it head to head with the Glock or any other polymer pistols that you'd want to try, XD or uh, whichever. But uh, it's a great gun, another great choice. But in the end, my winner is still the tried and true Glock.